So in doing research on these engines, it turns out that Zeta wants to be known as the number one manufacturer of Chinese engines. And let me tell you, so far, I'm not that impressed. So let me start by first saying that we have not fired this engine up as of yet, but after my pre-check installation, I'm so glad I didn't. So far I've come across three separate issues, two with the engine and one with the gas can. By no means is this a knock on where I purchased the engine from, BicycleEngines.com, because as you can see, when shipping these boxes out, I seriously doubt that they open them up and break the engines down. But that being said, they might want to change their practice to be a little bit more beneficial to the customer. So the first issue I encountered is with the gas cap on the gas tank. As you can see here, no matter how I put it on, I just can't get it tight. It will not seal. And just so you don't think I'm crazy, here is a replacement scooter gas cap that seals right on. So even that one's not that bad because that has to do with the overall kit and the way they're mass produced. I'm sure you'll come across some errors in the molding. But my real problem lies in the engine. I'd like to give a shout out to Southern Custom CC who produced a video that I'll share the link with to show you why it's important to break these engines down even when you receive them brand new. First issue being that just like he confirmed in his video, my piston was on backwards. Now a lot of people get caught up on you're not supposed to go by the down arrow which should be pointing towards the exhaust side. But if you think about it, a piston company wouldn't be in business very long if they design their pistons with the notches to hold the rings on the exhaust side. So as much as you do want to check, normally that arrow indication is not wrong. So as you can see in the picture, my arrow is pointing towards the intake port, which is one way in many that you can damage an engine. And the second point came up after inspecting the jug. After pulling off the cylinder, I could see that the cylinder walls were A-OK, -okay, but the porting on the jug was downright awful. And please be fully aware that I didn't think for $170 that I was going to get a fully ported and polished cylinder. We all know in the industry that costs more bread. But if you look at my exhaust port, the intake port, and my transfer ports, they leave a lot to be desired. Again, I'm not blaming anybody, but Zeta, if you want to be number one, you should be able to do better than this. And for anybody who's curious on why I don't just go ahead and port and polish them myself right away, I wanted to show the differences in performance between a non-ported and polished jug over the ported and polished jug that will come sometime down the road. So my next video will be a full installation video on the engine and its components. But before I get out of here, at the end of my videos, there'll be a new feature. I like to show pictures of my subscribers, scooters, bicycles, motorized bikes, or whatever the case they might be building or have. So guys, start sending in pictures of your bikes and I'll feature them at the end of my videos. You can send the pictures and or always reach me at kachiskid at gmail.com and I'm really looking forward to seeing some of my little family's builds. So until next time, this is Kachi's Kid with a whole lot of work to do. Everybody have a great night. Peace out.